probably third grade, I probably started playing basketball. I just, uh, my brother's actually the one that got me involved with it, so I, if it wasn't for him, I probably would have never even started playing, to be honest. I always wanted to do what he wanted, what he was doing, so, you know, I kind of followed in his footsteps with that. I got played with my brother's friends a lot, and they were four or five years older than me. Um, I was 14 years old at the time or whatever, playing against 18, 19 year old kids, and I was competing with them and, and sometimes doing better than they were, and I thought, I was like, man, you know, I might be able to do something with this, so it was kind of a little bit of motivation for me just to kind of continue going with it. I remember we were in the conference room upstairs with Coach Izzo and the rest of the staff, and you know, my parents were with me, and they offered me a scholarship. Coach Izzo is one of the toughest coaches I've played for. I didn't want to accept it right then and there, but I think after about two days or something, I decided, and it was funny because I committed right on my brother's birthday, April 30th. Called Coach and I said, I want to go to Michigan. I want to come to Michigan State. And Coach was just real excited and happy, and you know, I think he was even more excited because he really didn't let a local kid slip like me. And I only live 30 minutes from here. I'm not a kid anymore. You know, high school is a lot different than this. Uh, you know, high school was much easier than it is now, than, than where I am now. Basketball got me to Michigan State, so I'm not going to lie about that. But, you know, there, there obviously has to be other avenues to your life as well because basketball isn't forever, you know, in case somebody gets hurt or whatever the case is. As far as academically and, you know, basketball-wise, you do what you do because you feel like it's the right thing to do. Well, nobody's going to sit there and hold your hand and tell you this or tell you that. I feel like... You have to make your own decisions now and kind of grow up from those. The world ain't so nice anymore. You know, I feel like everybody has something to learn from everybody in this room when we're all together. I'd like to be able to meet up with my grandfather again. He passed away when I was 12. I think just him, just wanting to spend another day with him would be one of the things I'd more, want to do more than anything. Uh, just to be able to, for him to experience where I, what I'm doing and where I'm at now. Uh, you know, he was my biggest fan when we were growing up, and I don't, I can't get that back. But I know if I could, I would. My parents have always been there with me, whether it was for basketball, uh, you know, a school play or something, whatever I was doing, they were always there no matter what. I think my dad's only missed one basketball game I've ever had, ever in my life. And my parents are both busy with work and and things like that. But for them to still be able to make time for me in that regard, I think, I mean. I couldn't ask for anything more than that. The best. Spartan fans are the best. Man, I feel like I've made, just personally, I've made big strides in as far as my maturity and knowing what I have to do and taking accountability more than anything.